starting his third season at the University of Tennessee. Head coach is Jeremy Pruitt, who joins us on the program. Good morning, Coach. How's morale? Yeah, everything's great. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Uh, you guys got in the news. Well, you've been in the news for a couple of reasons. Another great recruiting class. But Philip Fulmer says going to have 100,000 fans at the home games there in the fall. How how optimistic are you that you'll have 100,000 fans watching Volunteers football? Well, if they completely open up the stadium, I'm sure there'll be 100,000 people there for sure. But do you think there will be? Well, I don't know about that. That's uh, There's lots of time between now and then. Uh, how optimistic are you that you can start this season on time? You know, our, our medical staff has done an outstanding job getting our players back and uh, working a plan and through the SEC, uh, you know, we've done a nice job ex- executing the plan and we've got to continue to do that. Compare this June to last year at this time. Well, it, it, it's obviously um, we started later, um, you know, and it's been voluntary. So, um, you know, it's been more so with the players and the strength staff as opposed with the coaching staff. So all the meetings have been online. So it's obviously a little bit different. Are you allowed to announce the number of players who have tested positive? I, I saw where Alabama, Clemson, LSU, uh, it feels like that, that's that been a team or school announcement. What about uh, Tennessee? Yeah, with all the players that we've had in here and that we've tested, we've had zero positive tests with the guys that we've tested. How often are they going to be tested the rest of this summer? Well, that will be up to our medical staff. Um, you know, we're – our guys are going out um, for a three-day weekend this weekend, so uh, they'll have a plan when they come back to get everybody within our program tested, and we'll start over. Yeah, it, you know, we're in these – it's almost like day-to-day, Coach, of trying to figure this out of, you know, you, you know, we, we keep saying, well, we're going to start on time, and I keep telling people, and this is day-to-day. You can have those goals, and we can wish for that, but what do you say to your players – as far as what, whatever concerns they may have, what, what's your message to them? Yeah, we've been worried about the things that we have control over. Um, so once we get in here, get in here, and we have tests, and uh, we we don't have negatives, uh, you know, we kind of control the our own surroundings. You know, so within our program, we've done a very nice job of that this summer, and we've got to continue to do that. When do you have a full contact practice? Uh, let's see. We start uh, practice on August seventh, so um, it's it's three or four days after that. I was looking at the the coach, uh, the quarterbacks you've coached against ver- uh, when your uh, stay at Tennessee: Jared Stidham, Tua, Drew Locke, Jake Fromm, Will Greer. Who was the toughest to prepare for out of that group? <laughs> uh, well, I'm I'm sure all these guys uh, present different problems, but. You know, that's kind of in the past. I'm kind of looking. Oh, uh, have a little bit of fun, coach. Come on. <laughs> I'm looking to the future to see who we've got to compete against. Come on. Who was the toughest one out of that group? Because I'm curious about Stidham. He seems a little bit more of a mystery there. Uh, two of we know a lot about. Locke, it feels like, is coming on. And uh, I'm not sure about Fromm and Greer. But tell me about Stidham. Well, you know, that was a couple of years ago. So, um you know, the system that he played in, um, you know, they, they really throw the ball more down the field. There's not a lot of RPOs and stuff. So, um, you know, we actually had a good day against him. I mean, over the last couple of years, it's been pretty obvious in our league, the guys that we played against, uh, you know, two has been as good as uh, anybody I've coached against in a long time. Um, and I felt like Jake Fromm did a nice job um, as far as managing – you know, his offense uh, over the last three years that we competed against. Him. Does it help? You were a high school quarterback, I think went to college to be a quarterback. Does it help as a defensive quarter, uh, defensive minded guy that you played the position? Does that help at all? Well, I think uh, when you start talking about defense, if you want to be good defensively, you got to start from the back end and work your way forward. So, um, being able to eliminate explosive plays really starts with the defensive back. So whether it's in the throw game or uh, squeezing the runs off. So, um, 
you know, I, and I do think that probably my experience as a as a quarterback in high school helps me have a little bit better understanding of what people are trying to do offensively. Who plays the position the way you played quarterback? The way I played quarterback? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I would say most of them play it much better than I did. Yeah, but do you, you know, is it, were you a Brady like? Were you uh, a Rodgers like, an option guy, Cam Newton guy? Uh, I, I wouldn't say I was like any of those guys. <laughs> uh, do you have any uh, Alabama gear left? No, I don't. Got rid of everything? Did you have a garage sale? No, I just gave, I had a lot of friends I could just give it away to. Where's your Tennessee colors here? I, you're, you're kind of subdued today. I expected some orange here. Well, this is a shirt that they gave me to wear for this uh, interview. Oh, they... Wait, I got a... Who's your... I need checkerboard. I need something here. Who's your wardrobe guy? Let me talk to him. You got to talk to Roger Frazier. Come on, Rog. Give me some orange here. Man. Uh, Hey, well, good luck with the season and uh, all these hurdles that we have coming up. We appreciate your time, and uh, good luck this season, Coach. Thank you. That's uh, Jeremy Pruitt. He's a former defensive coordinator at Alabama and uh, Tennessee Volunteers. He was eight, I think, spent eight years with uh, Coach Saban at uh, Alabama.